The story usually goes about President Carter. Well, he's a nice guy and a good person, great ex-president, but he's a failed president who was never really able to rise to the challenges of his time. That's what you hear. That's the story we've been told. But it's all wrong. I think the reason that people are rediscovering President Carter is it turns out he was right. Carter put all these questions on the table, human rights, conservation, and energy, our own culture of consumption, and every politician sees he was onto something. What he doesn't get credit for is just how much Carter accomplished in a single term. It's mind-boggling. His legislative program was more successful than Bill Clinton's and Barack Obama's. It's really Jimmy Carter who says, you know what, there is a tension between the lifestyles we live and the lifestyles we want to live in the future. Before you have Al Gore on climate change, you really had Jimmy Carter in a more pragmatic way, putting solar panels on the White House and talking about renewable energy. If Carter's policies had been adhered to, we wouldn't be having a climate crisis right now. Reagan is our projected winner. President Carter paid the price for putting the country ahead of himself because he didn't get reelected. He made that choice. Most politicians don't. That's the highest standard for a political leader to damage himself in doing what he knew had to be done. This is not a message of happiness or reassurance, but it is the truth and it is a warning. It takes more strength to have humility when you have great power in your hands uh, than it does uh, to be a bully. Jimmy Carter is the only president that didn't have a single American soldier killed anywhere in the world in battle. He saw what the future could be and helped to make it happen. By the end of this century, I want our nation to derive 20% of all the energy we use from the sun. This was a person ahead of his time. I think he recognized our impact on the globe and he called us to recognize it. And we are now awakening to this. This is our last chance. There's just so many great things that this president did that nobody seems to know about.